The American Medical Association voted this week to declare obesity a disease, a move that could mean sweeping changes for 72 million overweight Americans. But as Action News reporter Linda Muma shows us, the decision is sparking debate amongst doctors and patients. I think it's pretty exciting that the AMA is coming out and declaring obesity as a disease. Dr. Keith Boone is a metabolic and bariatric surgeon at Advanced Laparoscopic Surgery Associates in Fresno. He says doctors in his field have recognized obesity as an epidemic for 15 years when the National Institute of Health classified it as a disease in 1998. He hopes the AMA's new stand will lead to more awareness and access to obesity treatments. Our goal as bariatric or weight loss surgeons is the metabolic side of it. We look at the surgeries as a way to treat diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, and so forth, and the weight loss is a fantastic side effect of it, not the other way around. But not all doctors agree. Immunologist and pediatrician Bill Ebeling is concerned the new label will remove personal responsibility among patients and lead to new drug development and widespread prescribing of weight loss medications. It is a major problem. It needs to be evaluated. I'm glad they're addressing it, but not with the government quick fix stuff. We need to have it studied, come up with good things, and uh, look at the diets. But one person we talked with argued the new designation creates a new sense of urgency. I think if they, people hear disease, it seems more serious to them, and then maybe it would be more serious about their health and be able to take care of themselves better. Which could boost support for prevention programs like physical education and healthier school lunches. But one thing is clear, the AMA believes recognizing obesity as a disease will change the way the medical community tackles this complex issue, an issue now affecting one in three Americans. In Fresno, Linda Muma, ABC 30, Action News.